In this video, we'll take a look at how you can apply a style transfer post-processing effect in Unreal using Open Neural Network Exchange deep learning models. We'll start off by creating a brand new project. Select the Games category and choose the third person template, and then create your project. Next, we'll want to go to Edit, Plugins, and search for Neural Rendering. And we'll want to make sure that the Neural Rendering Experimental plugin is enabled. Next, we'll have to get some models that have been trained on a specific look or style. These models will have to be Onyx models or Open Neural Network Exchange models, which are meant for usage between different frameworks. If you go to GitHub slash Onyx slash models, you'll be able to find this page where you can scroll through a bunch of pre-trained models that can be used. If you scroll down to where it says image manipulation, you'll find a category called fast neural style transfer. And if you click on that, there'll be models here that you can download for different looks. Make sure you only get the ones with the offset version nine, otherwise they probably won't work. And if you wanna download these models, you can just click on the download here and go to the corner and download the raw file. Once you have some of those models downloaded, you can drag and drop them or import them into Unreal. I've imported them into a folder called NN models, and here they all are. Now, once you import these models, you can double click on them and have the option of what type of runtime target they should use. You can leave these set to all, and it shouldn't really matter for the time being. So there's no pressure to have to set these. By default, it should just work. The next thing we'll have to do is create our neural profile that we can use in our material. To do this, just right click and go to material and you'll be able to find neural profile. Once you've created this neural profile, we'll give it a name. Perhaps we call it NP underscore style transfer. And after you've done that, you can open up this neural profile and you'll see a window that looks something like this. And this is where you'll be able to drag and drop our different model datas in, and it will detect their dimensions and be able to apply them through our materials. So as an example, I'm just gonna drag this uh, Mosaic 9 into here for the NNE model data. And now that model has been added into this neural profile. Now, why do we need this neural profile? It's pretty much a way of the model being able to receive input and output between Unreal. So it's kind of like the connection from Unreal to this model. So it's pretty much the way that I'll be able to interact with our material. So now that I have this Mosaic 9 dropped into this neural profile that we made called NP style transfer, I'll save this and next we'll go create our material. Next, we'll wanna create our post-processing material that will assign this neural profile to our post-process. So to do this, I'm gonna create a brand new material, just right click material and call it something like M underscore post style transfer. Once I've done that, I'm gonna open up this material and it's our plain old material editor that we're familiar with. And much like many times before, we're gonna go in here and switch this material domain to post process, but there's a couple other things we're gonna to have to do. We're going to scroll down in here all the way to where it says post process material. And we're going to do two things. We're going to apply our neural profile so I can apply our NP style transfer. And then we're also going to want to check used with neural networks and check that on. Now, if we've done that, there's a couple other things we have to do. This emissive color has to have our effect plugged into it because that's going to control what we see. So the very few things that we're going to have to do that are a little bit different is normally we may go in here and create a scene texture node and set this to be our post process input zero, which if we preview or just add in here to emissive color, we'll just show pretty much our, our scene, what we usually get out of our, our render. But we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead of just applying that, we're also gonna to have to create two other nodes. We're gonna to have to create a neural output and a neural input. So neural network input and neural network output. Oops, neural network output. Now the neural network output will pretty much be the info of what is being passed back out to our material. 
after the neural network's being applied, and the neural network input is going to be what we're inputting into the neural network to get the effect applied to it. So in this case, our scene texture post-process input zero is going to be our color, what we see connected to the input of our neural network. And then our neural output is going to be the result of that image after it's being processed by the network. So that will be our emissive color. And we'll see something like this. It looks a little bit bright from what we see here. And this is because the neural network is probably holding our color values in a range of zero is black and 255 is white. Whereas in Unreal, zero is black and one is white. So it's pretty much strengthened 255 times too much. So to solve that, what we're gonna do is divide this by 255 and then connect that to our emissive color. And now we see we have this style transferred to our post process and working on the preview scene here. So now we're getting this style applied. You can just save this, close this material, and then apply it to our actual scene. So we'll go to our post process volume. We'll make sure it's unbound so it affects everything. And then what we'll do is search material and we'll add an array for our post process material. Do an asset reference and add in our M post style transfer. And there we go. Now we have this effect applied to our whole scene. Even if we click play, we can run around with that and it's doing the style transfer on all those frames in real time. Now, if we want to change this, we can just simply open up our neural profile and plug in a different model. So if I want to use this UDNIE, we get this kind of look, or the rain princess, or a pointillism, or a mosaic nine, or candy. And these are all the examples um, that are available. So you can kind of change this up and some of them work better than others, but it's pretty cool how now we can apply these styles to our scene through a post process. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something new, don't forget to like and subscribe. Press the bell button down below to be notified of future videos. And if you are part of the Patreon, which you can find a link to in the description below, you'll also get the PDF for this video that goes over all the steps we went over in a little bit more detail.